G'day gang, Dan here, how you going? We are back in the Elder Scrolls Online. Hey Barry, we're in, uh, we're in the Clockwork City. We have Devate Fear here. So you're a citizen now, well done. I heard something about a constable tossing people down sewer drains. Even in this shrine to knowledge, drooling idiots bumble their way to power. <laughs> Ludicrous. Moving on, I require your services once more. What do you need? It's Sotha Seal. Shortly after you and I parted company, I sought him out to discuss our Daedric artifact. I fear something is... askew. His habits, his diction, the, the timbre of his voice, they've all changed, albeit subtly. You think something is wrong with him? Worse. Initially, I dismissed it as boredom, fatigue, or even the first signs of senility. But now, after observing him at length, I can say with certainty, this is not the Sotha Seal I know. There's Daedric mischief here. We will root it out. How do we go about doing that? We will leverage your hard-earned citizenship to make inquiries. First, I will make it known that in light of your recent exploits, I offered to take you on as my aid, an offer you eagerly accepted. Fine. How does me becoming your aid help us investigate Sotha Seal? As the most powerful mage in the Brast Fortress, I find it difficult to have proper conversations with common folk. They grow silent at my approach, then whisper as I leave. An appropriate, but sadly uninformative, display of deference. So you want me to talk to the other aides? Indeed. It's commonly understood that servants grumble about their masters, loudly, to those they consider equal. Ask them about Sotha Seal's recent behavior. I'm confident we'll find something of value tucked away in their churlish complaints. All right, I'll talk to the other aides. You have questions, of course. Ask what you must. The forces at work here are cunning indeed. You should be prepared for anything. I thought no one really knew Sotha Seal. How can you be sure something is wrong? He is inscrutable, but he's also unflinching. Seal always moves deliberately, quietly, in one step at a time, like clockwork. I have never once seen him divert from his course, until now. How has he diverted? In the short time we've been here, he has twice adjusted city patrol routes and delivered three revisions to the fortress charter. Trust me when I say this is unprecedented. So the Seal never meddles like this. Has he made any other changes? That's for you to discover. Don't bother speaking with members of the Congress. Varuni's faith in Sotha Seal is unbreakable. Chancellor Gascon resents any threat to the status quo. And Luciana... Well, well, let's just say she's been less than helpful. Is Proctor Luciana still insisting you leave the city? Luciana resents my presence, but she's no fool. I go where I please, when I please. An open confrontation between us would likely leave hundreds dead. So do not trouble yourself. She will not stand in the way of our investigation. Well, can you tell me about the others in Sotha Seal's circle? Well, you've met Varuni. She's pleasant without being vapid or boring. Then again, her doe-eyed faith in Sotha Seal turns my stomach. I find religious attachments repulsive thoughts on Luciana are well known. As for Gascon... Who is Gascon? Gascon serves as Chancellor. He commands respect, but suffers from the peculiar character flaw of demanding praise at all times. Adulation. A sad fixation indeed. He holds great power, but it's his petty obsessions that make him dangerous. Be wary. Will do. Alright, let's go, buddy. Ask aides about Sotha the Seal. Imagine should be... Out there. Talk to Kiliban, Cedrus, talk to the Benefactor. I just love, I love that bridge 
This looks awesome. Okay. Anyway, let's uh, let's work our way out. I find that in this city, I'm sort of taking in too many of the sights, and I'm <laughs> before I know it, I'm, I'm looking up, and then I'm walking into walls. You know, it's like that. So the seal. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Where am I going? See what I mean? <laughs> you look at a statue of Sir the Seal and you're like, wow, that looks amazing. Walking into a door. I have many functions to help you with your purchases. Uh, like I mentioned before, there's also a whole bunch of quests that, well, there's a few. But there's one. <laughs> there's a couple of quests around here. And uh, I really want to get into those. What do you want? Sooner rather than later. But while we're in the brass fortress, your lord fears newest steward, huh? Can we talk later? If I don't finish this lamp inventory, Gascon will feed me to the fabricants. Lamp inventory? Yeah, Gascon must know how much I love doing paperwork. A few days ago, Sotha Seal ordered us to rip out all the lamps in here and replace them with less efficient ones. What kind of sense does that make? Who wants weaker lamps? What are you doing with the old lamps? A bunch of factotums loaded them onto a dolly and dumped them somewhere in the mechanical fundament. Hey, I know that look. If you're looking to poach a free lamp, don't bother. Gascon made us slag them all. And that's not even the worst part. What's the worst part? Half the old switches don't work with the new lamp, so we've had to manufacture new switches. And half the time the switches get installed backwards, which means we have to do it all over again. Even the factotums don't know what they're doing. That does sound frustrating, but... And don't even get me started on the lamp assembly. Sotha Seal could have turned the fabricators to make the new lamps with a flick of his finger, but he demanded that we do it instead. Do you have any idea how complex the fabricators are? No, I don't. But I really have to go. Good luck. New lamps. Switches back to front. What is going on? So you're the one Devaith tapped to be his aide in the Brass Fortress. Sorry to hear that. Provost Varuni's ancestors hail from House Telvani, just like Lord Fear. But honestly, they couldn't be more different. What's it like working for Provost Varuni? Not as bad as you might expect. She's young, youth comes with impatience, but I've never felt unfairly judged, and she's generous with her praise. Honestly, if I had the choice between serving Varuni or Sotha Seal, I'd take Varuni every time. Sotha Seal was difficult to work for. Now more than ever. I don't pretend to understand his motives, but he's never been so demanding. One example? He insists that we turn all the lights down before he enters a room. Do you have any idea how difficult that is? It's maddening! Is flipping switches that difficult? Huh. Flipping switches. That's rich. Each lamp has its own switch, and some lamps have multiple switches. And if that isn't bad enough, some switches control multiple lamps. He's a god, I know, but it shouldn't take a genius to turn on the lights. That sounds frustrating. Don't even get me started. Varuni might demand some obscure tome in the middle of the night or chide someone for leaving oil on the floor, but that's the worst of it. Sotha Seal exiled an auxiliary last week because she forgot to switch off a lamp. Oh, well, thanks for letting me know all that. I should get going. Right, right. Don't let me keep you. I can't imagine how demanding Devaith fear must be. Better you than me, that's for sure. Keep your nose to the cogs and you'll be fine. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm off to flip two dozen switches again. <laughs> Poor fella. All right, Sidrus Nedarin. So you're Devaithir's new auxiliary, eh? Tough luck, friend. I've heard he's an insufferable bastard, but at least he's not Sotha Seal. Better to be turned into a Gua than to serve the clockwork god. You don't like working for Sotha Seal? Not anymore. In the old days, sure. He was easy to please because he was never around. These days, he changes his mind about something every night. Constant meetings, new dictums daily, adjustments to factotum patrols. <laughs> it's a nightmare. Are you sure he hasn't always been this way? He said he was never around. Trust me, this is unprecedented. I'm afraid something's wrong with his enhancements. 
Like he's having trouble regulating. He's a different person, I swear. Don't tell anyone I said this, especially Gascon. Blasphemy doesn't go over well nowadays. Blasphemy? Yes. Speaking ill of a god never turns out well. In the old days, he'd take it in stride. Commit your small blasphemies, he'd say. The fire of doubt turns ignorance to steam, but not anymore. This place is becoming more like Mournhold every day. Sorry to hear that. I should get going. Right. I'm sure you have plenty of work to do for Lord Fear. He's back a few days and already burying you in paperwork, no doubt. Take care of yourself, friend. And you. Alright, back to Devi. And report. Oh, he's right here. <laughs> Were you treated well by the menials? I assume they battered you with complaints. What have you learned? So the Zeal is definitely behaving strangely. He's made lots of odd demands. Yes, well, I could have told you that. That's why I sent you here after all. What kinds of demands? Be specific. Well, he makes the servants darken rooms before he enters and demanded that some lamps be replaced. The lamps in the locutorium, yes? The large assembly room over there? The auxiliaries and factotums have been laboring in there day and night ever since we arrived. Curious. What could lights have to do with this? Well, there's only one way to find out. Expose him to the light? Impressive. I assumed I'd have to explain it to you. Of course, this requires a functional lamp. I assume he ordered them destroyed. Speak to that high elf of yours, Neramo. The dark elf as well. We need one of these lamps, repaired and operable. Alright, I'll go find Naramo and Raynor. Naramo. Those are all over there, okay. The bank right there. I think we're doing alright. The inventory's not too bad. Don't need to go for a visit just yet. Ah, oh, I hope to see you again, Assistant. Pray tell, what did Devaith Fear have to say? I fear that he and I might have gotten off to a poor start. Did he ask about me? Any mention of my many exploits? Actually, Devaith wants you and Raynor to help me with an important task. Raynor? Surely this is something I can handle myself. Impressing Devaith Fear could greatly increase my standing in the Dwemeric scholarly community. Tell me, what does Lord Fear ask of me? Uh, uh, us. <laughs> he wants us to build a lamp. One that's identical to the lamps removed from the locutorium. He just wants us to build a lamp? What an odd request. No matter. I would be happy to offer my ample expertise, provided you let Devaith Fear know that I did so. First things first, I need to study one of the lamps we're supposed to recreate. An egg told me they tossed the old lamps into the fundament. Should start there. Okay. No. No confirm. Taking Naramo down into the fundament, eh? Keep a close eye on him. You and I both know how dangerous that place can be. Correct. Who's Ryder? Oh, he's a merchant. Oh, okay. Another trip into the Fundament? I would accompany you if not for Kirith. I think she needs a break from fabricant-infested sewers. Alright. So it's Raynor and I. Who the Fundament? assistant, a uh, valued peer. Once we have a thorough understanding of the parts, I'll have the lamp assembled in no time. Scorpion fabricants. Okay, something here. 
Broken lamp. A dented lamp tube. This heavy brass housing is dented beyond repair. Some kind of tubular housing. Probably meant to protect a glass interior? Difficult to say. These loosely wound, wound, wound metal fibers are thoroughly charred. A complex filament of some kind. The weaving on this fiber, it must be machine made. I should be taking notes. Never realized how tall Naramo is. <laughs> I'm a shorty. Oh, we got a factotum over there. This complex clockwork device appears thoroughly broken. Look at the apertures on this. It must be some kind of modulator that changes the nature of the light. Fascinating. Fascinating indeed. Uh, Devaithfer is convinced that something sinister is driving so the seal's recent change of character. He asked me to help him root out the cause of the clockwork god's new and peculiar behavior. I agreed to enter the mechanical fundament to look for clues. According to the aides, the Factotums may have discarded some of the lamps there. Perhaps Narama can determine what makes him so unique. The seals on this compressor are cracked and ruined. Hmm. Some kind of compressor? For funneling a gas, perhaps? Interesting. Compressors, filaments, housings, modulators. Yes! I think I understand what these discarded lights have in common. I'm listening. Unlike the other lamps, these compress some kind of geodic gas into metal tubes. Then modulate the light to create another kind of illumination that mortal eyes cannot see. Invisible light! Remarkable! The potential applications are limitless! So you... can you recreate one of these lights? Yes. With Rayner's assistance, I believe we can recreate this lamp without much difficulty. Of course, you'll need to procure the requisite parts. These are all broken beyond repair. What do you plan to do with this light, exactly? We plan to use it on surface seal. I'm not exactly sure what will happen. You plan to do what? Oh dear. Well, this seems like a terrible idea. But I shall rely upon you and Lord Fear to protect me. Here's a list of the components I'll need. Once you've acquired them, meet me in the Hall of Refined Techniques. Good luck. You too. Oh. Ask about the clockwork filaments. I'll fetch young Reyna while you collect the parts we need. Not that I need his help, obviously. Make that last part clear to Lord Fear, if you don't mind. Bruh. Alright, so. Collect a uh, tube, collect clockwork filaments. I imagine I can get that by taking these clowns down. Filaments all over the place. Oh! Get him, Baz.
four, five. Factotums galore. For some reason I am... I can't loot. Oh, there we go. Right, we got the filaments. Need the compressor. Slagtown Outlaw's Refuge. Ooh, okay. Outlaw's Refuge. I'll have to check that out. Alright, for now, let's get this modulated compressor. Two more factotums over here. Three, actually. Whoops. Get the charge that time, pal. Almost there. A second, that venomous fabricant was eating a factotum or consuming or doing something. Oh, there's a sky shot down there. Um, all right. Can't ignore this sky shot. It's gonna hurt. All right, be all right. If I can actually do this. Oh! Beautiful. Oh no. Oh yeah. Okay. Actually, wondering whether it's possible to get it from the bottom there. But now we're down in the depths. That's probably a place we don't want to be. However, where's this chest here? <laughs> and nice and easy. A lot of fabricants. Verminous. Verminous, not venomous. Oh, <laughs> I like that move. I'd like a move where I can turn into a ball and just bowl things over. A 
charge up our bow. Where all the discarded fact totems end up or something. Hope that's a way out. That is not a way out. New patrol path registered. Reflecting. No. Get back up there. <laughs> I gotta move that button. I'm so used to pressing number three for another, like, direct attack. In fact, my one and two pretty much enough to take care of these enemies. There's some stairs leading up. A dancing spider. Right. Back to him time. Another chest. I'm ready for that charge now. Going. Hello there. Yeah, that's uh, that outlaw refuge is interesting. Hmm, something I've not got involved with in my other characters. This guy. This guy might might just do that. Collect the lamp tube. Now there's the look of someone on the hunt for something specific. You've come to the right place, friend. I've got a bit of everything. What can I get you? Do you have any lamp tubes like this one in the locatorium? As a matter of fact, I acquired some of those just a few days ago. Apparently, someone's tossing out the old lighting to make way for the new. They're not easy to come by anymore, though. What's your offer? Oh, is this enough? Eh, it's a bit less than I'd prefer. But if that's all you can afford, I'm a reasonable woman. We'll consider this a down payment on future business. Come see me again sometime, alright? Alright. Combatants required, eh? Internal function ordered in progress. Please try again later. My functions permit me to assist all the customers. 
Check this out. Kirith and I reassembled a Dwemeric orrery with nothing but broken soul gems and spare parts. Now, look at me. Puzzling over a lamp. Don't worry, though. We're near to finishing this thing. I know it. Ah, you've returned! Excellent! Raynor and I have cobbled together a serviceable frame for the lamp. All we need now are the components I sent you to acquire. Were you successful? Here's everything that was on your list. Wonderful! I'm confident this lamp will conform to the exact specifications of the lamps they removed. Provided Raynor didn't make any miscalculations. So, would this be the time to inform Devaith Fear of our success? Or mine, specifically? Yeah, I'll let Devaith know you will be ready soon. Excellent, excellent! No need to return here, of course. Kirith should be back straight away, and I'll have her run the completed lamp over to the Locutorium as soon as it's ready. See you soon, assistant! See you soon. He really likes getting that assistant in there, doesn't he? Let's talk to Devait Fear. to worry. Not about you, of course. These apostles have been circling me like cliff racers. Looking for an autograph, no doubt. So tiresome. I take it you were successful in learning about these lights and constructing a new one? Yeah. Naramo and Reyna constructed a working lamp. Kirith will deliver it soon. Well done. I assume you discovered the special property of these lamps. Why does my dear friend Seal go to such lengths to avoid them? Naramo believes they emit some kind of Invisible light. Invisible light? Fascinating. To help with factotum navigation, perhaps? Huh. No matter. Further inquiry must wait. Now is the time for action. I will request a congressional assembly. Plant your lamp on the balcony above, then return to me. All right. I'll get the lamp into position on the balcony. Did you say something about putting the lamp on the balcony? We might have a problem. Raynor and that annoying High Elf finished your lamp, but there's a problem. On the way here, I overheard an aide complaining about some new security measures Sotha Seal put in place. Looks like the balcony is under heavy guard now. So I'll have to sneak past guards to get the lamp into position? Looks that way. Unless you want blood on your hands, of course. But that might complicate our sponsorship a smidge, yeah? Just be quick and quiet, like me. You'll be fine. Here's the lamp, good luck. Thanks for the warning, Kirith. Or you could just do a Kirith, if you're so good at that. Kirith's logic is sound. Keep those guards alive and position the lamp just as we planned. You must move swiftly. Once I convince the others to call an assembly, we won't have much time. The Congress of Calibration is nothing if not prompt. All right, all right, all right. Uh, maybe this way? A little bit of stealth. Stealth time. Right. Okay, where do we gotta go? Gotta go over here. Guard right in front of me. Somebody over there. Somebody walking around. There's a lady looking right at me. Is there a way out the back here? How am I supposed to get around this? Without fighting. There's three people there, and that way's blocked. Oh, actually, hang on here. Yeah. Now's the opportunity. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. I'm in the shadows. The shadows of nothing. There's something there that I, can, uh, I might be able to jump into if I need to. The hiding spot here. Oh, we're good, we're good. All 
Right. Now if I just jump off the side here. <laughs> probably won't work. We good to go? Go, go. Have we seen anything? Nobody knows anything. She's kind of looking right at me in this direction. No, don't steal. Thing I want to do. Go around the back. Still hit it. Still hit it. Nobody noticed the big bear walking around. All right. Good. Nobody will notice the big old bear. Just that's just a usual day. Just a standard day. Oh, where are we going now? Where's Devaith? Oh, he's over there. He moved. I convinced Sotha Seal that the Congress requires yet another lecture on the sanctity of clockwork automata. He eagerly agreed. Seemed almost giddy about it. It was unsettling. Is all in readiness? Yes, I placed the lamp. Everything is prepared. Good. Seal's lecture should begin any moment now. Stand ready to activate the lamp. I'm reasonably certain that something will happen, but the specifics elude me. I guess this is what uncertainty feels like. What a novel change of pace. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. A cost them, and you will cost me. In the past, I have encouraged a child's curiosity and accepted minor blasphemies. But my generosity has limits. Know this. Any servant of the clockwork god found tinkering with back totems shall face severe sanction. In this place, mind shapes, constructs, and controls. My authority is absolute. Keep to your modest ex What is that? What's happening? After him! Someone seize that imposter! Let's go! Defeat the shadow of Soth the Seal. Where are you? Come out! Nothing to say? Let's do this! I am the Clockwork God! You will kneel before me! Kneel! Get him! Get him, Barry! Him and his friends! That way. The shadow of Soth the Seal. We got Mad Tinkerer's necklace. Out of the Mad Tinkerer set. I haven't the time to discuss this, Varuni. Wittingly or unwittingly, Lord Set no longer serves the people of Clockwork City. Now, if you will excuse me. Gascon, where are you going? When news of this gets out, we need to issue a statement or at least gather the Congress for an emergency session. I have urgent matters to attend to. Make whatever statement you like. I will... I will return soon. What is Gascon thinking, honestly? I don't know, but no, something doesn't seem right here. Thing, thing smells, and it ain't Barry's breath. Well, that was enlightening. To think I've been speaking to Sotha Sil's shadow all this time. It seems so lifelike. Far more advanced than my own, I'm sorry to say. Huh, fascinating. It really is too bad we'll all be dead soon. What? Dead? How? Well, I don't mean to alarm you, but I will be frank. If an imposter sits upon the throne aligned and learns how to wield the power of this place, 
a cataclysm will follow. We may yet discover a way to avert this disaster, but the chances are slim. So what do we do? Stay with Varuni. With Sotha's seal exposed as an imposter, the Congress will fall into turmoil. In such chaos, dark truths always float to the surface. Pray they do so quickly. I have other inquiries to make. Stay vigilant. We will meet again soon. Take care of yourself, Devay. My dear Lord Set, what happened to you? I can scarcely believe what we just witnessed. How could this happen? How could a shadow masquerade as Lord Set? The father of mysteries would never let such a thing happen. There must be another explanation. Devathir knew something was wrong with Sir Seal. We had to determine the cause. Fear, of course. Always the iconoclast. I'll bet he's snickering at us even now. It doesn't matter. I... I appreciate your diligence. This has been a profoundly upsetting ordeal, but we must move forward. We must find the real Lord Set. Seems like Chancellor Gascon has worries of his own. Yes. He was acting strangely, wasn't he? He always chafed under Lord Set's rule. Now he finally has a pretext to seize control, and he slinks away like a broken brassilisk. Curious. Too curious. What do you suggest we do? The real Lord Set will aid us eventually, I know it. In the meantime, we must do for ourselves. Thank you for everything you've done. It appears we'll have to do a lot more before this is through. So you're a citizen now. Well done. I heard something about a constable tossing people down sewer drains.